guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on hotels. So in front of me I have built um, a pretty strange looking hotel to showcase this plugin. It's a really awesome plugin. It allows you to create hotels for your players. They can even create some and they can create multiple rooms and rent them out to players for an amount of money for a period of time. Um, so it's really cool. It's got loads of features. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So once you've built your hotel, you're going to want to do four slash ht, ht, I should say, uh, cm, and then enter. Actually typing enter rather than hitting enter. So um, once you've done that, you get a few items. And um, if you don't know what they are, there is the leather, which is a world, ed world guard uh, feature. It shows you um, what regions are where. We have the world edit compass, so players can actually go up and down pretty easily. Uh, we have the signs and obviously the world edit one. So first of all, let's go ahead and select the whole building with world edit uh, from the bottom left hand corner to the top right hand corner. And once you've done that, we can go ahead and do HT create and then the hotel name. So let's call it test. And as you can see, we've successfully created the hotel and we can create two more. Obviously, you can change various different things in the config file, which we will have a look at later. Once you've created the hotel, you need some rooms. So we are going to go onto the uh, first floor. Yeah, first, first floor. And um, select the whole room using the same method as before. And we're going to do HT room for the hotel test. And it's going to be room one. Let's go ahead and go up a floor to the second floor. And this is obviously going to be room two. Let's go down there. Repeat the command just with a two, and obviously you can create even more rooms depending on how big your hotel is and how many players you want inside it. So there we go, we've created three rooms. Let's fall down to the bottom onto the sort of notice board I've created here. And we are going to create a few signs. So there is the hotel information sign. So hotels in square brackets on the top line and then the hotel name on the second line. This will tell you um, how many free rooms there are and how many rooms in total and then we can actually create um, signs per room. So the way we do this is hotels in square brackets, test on the second line, obviously the name of the hotel, and then um, which room we want. So we're gonna go with room one first for $100 or pounds or yen or whatever country currency you use. And we are going to have it for maybe a day. So you can use seconds, minutes, days, and pro presumably weeks would work as well. So uh, it tells you all the information there, and it's in green, it's vacant. Let's go ahead and add one more for um, room two. So let's make this a bit cheaper. So two is going to be just 20 pounds, and it's going to be for um, five seconds. So we could actually buy this ourselves. As you can see, I've just rented out room two for $20, and my, um, my name has gone red on there. It now says how many free rooms are here, you must create these signs in order for these rooms to be free. And um, in five seconds, that should probably update uh, to say it's vacant again. So let's do the last sign very, very, very quickly. So this is going to be room three for three pounds and then uh, one second or something. So there we go. And now it says um, two rooms and I've rented out two and three as well. So as you can see, there are nice messages when you go into each room. So yeah. Um, next, we are going to exit out of the uh, the creative what's it called? Creative mode. I think it's called that. Exit. Oh, exit. Uh, creation mode. That's it. So let's go ahead and look at some of the other commands um, to go through before we look at the config file. So, ht command. So obviously, you can delete your hotel. You can delete specific room numbers, which is uh, very useful. So. Del R, hotel name is test, and we could delete room three if we didn't want it anymore. And make sure you delete the sign, and uh, that will update as well, which is cool. Um, once you've done that, you could even sell um, your hotel. So, HT, sell H. Uh, the hotel name is test, and we could sell it to my other accounts for maybe a thousand dollars. Uh, he's not online at the moment, so obviously I couldn't sell it to him, but that would send him an offer and if he wanted to accept, he could use the buy H and then test command uh, to buy my, buy my hotel. It's very lovely. 
So here we are in the hotels folder and as you can see there are seven different items in here. So we have uh, three folders that just saves various information about the signs, hotels, inventories. We have a few YML files that you don't really need to edit, queued messages, nothing in there yet. Local, this has all of the text and uh, obviously the language. And then in flags, this has various different things about your hotel. So it says um, what protections it has, whether it allows you to interact with it, whether you you can PvP in the hotel, obviously you don't want that. Um, various different um, information. This is all to do with World Guard. And we have the entry and deny messages as well. So you can allow or deny whichever ones you want from there. In the main config file, you can obviously set your language. There is a list of them here. So we have Russian, French, no idea, no idea, Italian and English. Um, no idea what those two are. Oh, maybe that's Chinese. I think that's probably Chinese. TW. If anyone knows what this one is, uh, let me know, because I have no idea. And then we have the max amount of hotels you can own, the max rooms you can own, the max rooms owned per hotel, and the max rent to extend. So um, you can actually set a tax percentage um, on revenues from the hotels, which is uh, kind of funny that you can do that. But uh, you don't have to, of course. Whether you want to use permissions, uh, allow players into free rooms and allow players to open containers in their free rooms. So I would set that to false because anyone can go in that room really. So yeah, there is uh, quite a few things that you can configure. It's a very cool plugin. Obviously in here we have uh, information about where the hotel is located and all of the signs that we pop down. So that is the plugin. You can download it for free off of Spigot. Subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.